Yo, what is going on, guys? John, I'm back with another video, and today we got some more NBA breaking news. So, the first player to announce today that he will not be participating in the NBA restart in Orlando was Bradley Beal. Post that video, or let me sure to check that video out as well. Now, second player of the day is Nets point guard Spencer Dinwiddie, who, in my opinion, is one of the most underrated players in the NBA and having his best season by far. And is definitely having a career season. On the season, he's averaging 20.6 points, shooting 41.5% in the field, 30.8% from three, averaging 3.5 rebounds per game, 6.8 assists per game, and 0.6 steals per game in 31.2 minutes per game. Now, like I said, in my opinion, it's been Spencer Dinwiddie is one of the most underrated players in the NBA, and in my opinion, was a borderline all set this season. But if you guys haven't been, haven't been keeping up with Spencer Dinwiddie over the course of the last week, I'll say, they said he has tested positive for the coronavirus twice, and the next team doctors decided that he just could not play and risk infecting his teammates. The Nets right now are in a very weird situation. They're currently 7th in Eastern Conference with a record of 30 and 34, and they're without their superstars, Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving who, when they return next season, are just going to be an absolute powerhouse, along with Jared Allen, Karis Levert, Hudson Dinwiddie, and the rest of their team. So, yeah. So, without Dinwiddie, the Nets, obviously, they were not going to make it past probably the first round with Spencer Dinwiddie. Like I said, without KD and without Kyrie Irving. Their best player now is Karis Levert, who, in my opinion, also is a very underrated player. And is not really talked about much. He did get a lot of a lot of hype after that. I believe fifty one point game against Celtics early on that season. So yeah, this is a huge blow for their Brooklyn Nets, and I do not see them, like I said, making it past the first round. Even though they are seventh place right now in the Eastern Conference with a negative record, which just tells you how bad the bottom of the Eastern Conference really is. But yeah, like I said, I'm a big fan of Kevin Sever. I like Jared Allen. I like Joe Harris. Um, Gary Temple as a 3 and D player is pretty good. They um, are not going to be having Wilson Chandler, who also opted out of the NBA restart. So their team, it's it's a young team. But like I said, with Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, I, I do see them at the top of the Eastern Conference along with the Milwaukee Bucks and the Boston Celtics. But yeah, you, all right, Spencer Dinwiddie has announced that he will not be playing in the Orlando NBA restart due to, fact, due to the fact that he has two positive COVID-19 tests and it doesn't make sense for him to play during the pandemic just because like I said he already has hit twice and we really want to risk getting a third time and the fact that he's already gotten it twice um shows the fact that um he gets it and he gets it again and you don't want him to get it once again while he's in the NBA bubble and risk him infecting his teammates maybe even opposing teams so that's just not a good thing to happen there's than what he was to continue playing. You also have to remember that Dinwiddie might end up getting traded this offseason because, like I said, the Nets have Kyrie Irving and Dinwiddie plays. He plays both combo guard, both point guard and shooting guard, but mainly point guard. So having Dinwiddie, a 20 point per game caliber point guard in the NBA, a starting point guard in the NBA coming off the bench as your sixth man. It's an absolute luxury, but they can pair that up and get somebody very, very good to go alongside Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, and Karis LeVert. And also, if you want to include my boy Jared Allen in that mix as well, maybe they go try to get us power forward. Maybe they try to get somebody like Kevin Love from the Cavaliers. Hey, man, I don't know, but yeah, that is a video, man. Like I said, Dinwiddie has announced that he will not be playing in the Orlando NBA restart. And will like i said not be playing so yeah make sure to go down below drop a like comment down below so well, let me know down below in the comment section how much this um move will hurt the brooklyn nets for the rest of the season you guys think the nets will make it far in the playoffs because like i said i don't think that even with Dinwiddie. but yeah drop a like comment down below sub so up follow me on twitter not g till next video and i'm out man peace